Okay. <clears throat> doing another quick snuff review today. Uh, doing uh, talk limited edition pumpkin pie. Uh, this one's actually he stopped making it already, and you can see this one I've been using decent amount. There's a couple of dents on the tin. Uh, that's and the toke tins are nice because you can close them and it, and it, and it stays stays fresh, but if they gets dent, it can be almost impossible to open it or close it again. So let's open it up. Something interesting about toke is that it's almost it doesn't matter how much you've taken from the tin if you shake it up, it looks. Like a new tin, um, so this one is. If you've seen the talk before, you've seen this. It looks the same. I guess I find them to be really fine. Uh, it's like it's like sifted flour or powdered sugar. Uh, maybe not so much powdered sugar, but. Um, and they clump up a bit different than any of the other topics that I've that I've tried, and also feels soft. It's a, it reminds me a lot of flour, of, of baking flour. Um, so I don't know how well it comes out on the camera, but it's this one's pretty dark brown. Uh, it's not black, uh, but it's not super light either. I guess medium brown. Um, smell out of the tin is a lot of spices cinnamon cloves and let's say nutmeg <clears throat> and I also don't know if it's my imagination one of the problems is when you read what the smell is supposed to be sometimes you imagine but I think I can smell a bit of pumpkin in there too. So let's take a pinch. Give me a decent size. For me at least. That could be that this is the, the first pinch that I've taken in the morning. I get a, I get some burn there. So the nose about the same. I get the clove a bit more, and I think that what gives it the the smell of the pumpkin, <coughs> sorry, is the the toke based tobacco, um, which I, I find all of them to be kind of sweet, almost chocolatey. So that could be what I'm getting from the pumpkin. Trying to see if I feel any nicotine. I see that I usually don't feel the nicotine. What I do is I, I feel my pulse. If I feel that my pulse is going, then I, I know that. I, I think it really depends on, on how how much moisture you have in your nostrils, on how, how much the nicotine, at least for me, gets in. And where I live here is pretty now in in the winter and it's pretty dry climate so there's not so much moisture which also makes it harder to take uh, and that's what my theory is at least is that when you have when it's dry uh, it doesn't stick it doesn't have anything to stick to in your nostrils and it goes straight to your throat 
but this one this time wasn't so bad. Maybe I'm getting used to it. Or maybe that's first thing in the morning and I haven't had anything that dried me out yet. Um, so it's definitely uh, a topic that I like. You can see from the that the, the tins been kind of mashed up. Uh, this is also something that this is one that goes with me all the time. Pretty much this is in my jacket pocket. I think you saw that I took it out from there. Um, definitely when it comes when it comes back on, I would get another tin. Um, I usually don't get the big tins because I don't use so much. And I like, I'm at the stage now where I like trying a bunch of different things. Uh, it's also, I think, more convenient to carry around the small ones. So this one I, I think is worth trying. Even if you say maybe you don't like pumpkin pie, but I, the, the, with the smells, the, the spiciness of it. I'm trying to see if I pick up ginger too. Toke ginger is another, another one that I like. Like most of the other talks, comparatively to other topics, other companies, uh, it doesn't last so long. But if you take a decent sized pinch, you can get maybe a, I guess it depends on your nose, but you can probably get a good five, 10 minutes to smell out of it. So, call to have a successful day.